What's happening everybody? Welcome to another video and today we are going to be looking at another algorithm that is very popular in mining and that is EbqueHash. Um, we are going to be using nice hash miner as usual. I'm using version 1.7.5.12. Um, we also make use of MSI Afterburner and then I'm using Excel just to get a record of the details. Um, we'll be going through some uh, overclocking stages. We'll do 50 megahertz and uh, 50 megahertz core and memory, then 100, 100, 130, 200, 150, 250, and yeah, and that's pretty much how we will progress. And then we'll record what kind of increase in 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 um, in global rate and speed that we get from each overclock. So let's see if we can find this useful at all. Um, so first of all, you go to settings in NiceHash. You go to devices and algorithms, you click your graphics card. I'm using one GTX 1070 for now. And then you select which, uh, which algorithm you would like to mine on. Um, algorithms can be profitable at different times, depending on the profitability of, the, uh, of what you are mining at the time and what is able to be mined on that algorithm. Anyway, let's get a let's go ahead. Save and close, settings saved. Okay, let's start right now. Okay, so you can see it's mining. Well, it's not mining yet. It still needs to uh, connect to the to to the block or find a block. And we will give it some time and see what we get. All right. All right, guys, so we've gone in a few minutes. The uh, speed seems to have leveled out at about 372 solutions per second. That's what that means over there. And let's record that in Excel as soon as Excel starts working. It's not very, it's not very good when there is a algorithm running. It uses a lot of memory. 372 point, let's call it 35. All right, and the global rate is 0 0.27 as we can see over here. Okay, let's crank it up a little bit. Let's go to 54, which is around about 50. All right, and let's see what we get. How's it, guys? All right, so we've been uh, waiting for a little while now. The algorithm seems to have settled down on 379 approximately. Yeah, it's settled down there. And we've got a global rate of 27.92. So let's just punch those numbers in quickly. 379 and 0.2. Let's call it 0.3. It's near as makes no difference. Okay. Two, seven. Oh my gosh, what am I doing? 0.28. Lord. All right. Let's crank it up a little bit, shall we? So we're going to 100. Ah. Okay, let's get those numbers in and see what we get. All right, guys, so after a while, we've settled down on 383. 383 solutions per 383 point, let's say two. Uh, solutions per second and a global rate of 0 0.28. Hmm, 286. Let's be a little bit more specific, shall we? All right, let's crank it up. 137. I'm not, look, it's not exactly what I say in the Excel document, but it's a bit difficult to get these adjustments exactly right. If you guys know of a way of just punching the numbers in over here or something and just getting the exact core clock then let me know all right let's see what we get okay okay guys so after a couple of minutes we have almost settled on a number of 391 which is quite a big jump interesting 391.06 and a global rate of 0 0.295 Okay, that is an increase, which you can see over here, of 5% on the original normal value and 9% in the global rate. Uh, let's crank it up for our last clock speed, which is uh, getting pretty toasty. So we've got 150 over here, 150, 200, 
150 and 250. And let's see how that goes. Okay guys, so after our final overclock, we are looking at 399, almost 400 solutions per second on Equihash. Um, I've moved the formula here to look at this column compared to the original. So if we input, ooh, it's at 400 now. I thought it stabilized, but it's okay. Let's put in 400, 4.05, and 0 0.3. Zero. So as you can see, with a good overclock, you can get almost 11% more on your global rate, which is your Mbit per day. And uh, I think if you let this run for a little bit longer, you can see it's, <laughs> it's going up even higher. Um, you can get 400, let's make it 401 for uh, interest sakes. 401. It's 8%. So that's really good. I, uh, I think that's uh, that'll make a good... A nice increase in your revenue each month from your mining if you just overclock a little bit. You could probably go further, um, but yeah, play around with NiceHash and MSI Afterburner. Let me know what you get. Thanks a lot, guys. Cheers.